30 p.m. and it is the 16th of August and I've just touched down in Dublin. Um, I have flown here from Heathrow and I'm meeting a very special little pony here who has made his way here via lorry. The tent has already arrived. He has been transported all the way from England by Julie Magnus um, Newmarket Racehorse Transport and I have got loads and loads of footage to share with you because Julie has been absolutely amazing at, at updating me and once I get to the hotel I can't wait to pull you guys in because this is the first step of a very exciting adventure with Royal Dublin Show and Schleich so stay tuned because this is going to be a very exciting week for little Teddy who's travelled all the way from England across the sea via a ferry to Dublin. Very, very exciting. So I'm just jumping in a taxi to the hotel and um, I've had a full day of work so I'm super tired but I'm excited to see Teddy. And the first challenge is actually finding a taxi. So it all started a few months ago um, when Teddy visited the Schleich offices and we had a very exciting meeting with RDS, the Dublin show team, and also with Schleich. And we sort of hatched up this idea that Teddy was going to come to Dublin show. And at the start, I have to say, it seemed like an amazing adventure, but also it seemed like there was a lot of planning involved and um, we had a lot to do so we, I started off by sort of contacting various transport companies because it was clear that I couldn't have um, a whole week off work because I work in a hospital and holiday is quite valuable to me so um, I said that I could come for the whole show but I could only have three days off work um, so instead Julie um, from Julie Magnus Racehorse Transport and she has transported Teddy from our house in her massive lorry he's had the whole lorry to himself to um, the port the lorry has then been um, on a ferry across the sea to Ireland and Teddy stayed in the lorry during that crossing and um, then he had to see the vets on the other side on the border to have all his passports checked he'd had a Coggins blood test which is basically a test to check that Teddy's not bringing any sort of imported diseases into Ireland which obviously was all negative he had that blood test a few weeks ago um, and since Brexit I have to say there's a lot of paperwork to deal with so I was a little bit nervous that we ticked every box but Julie was incredibly helpful in making sure that we'd thoroughly gone through everything and hadn't left any um, stone unturned so we got through all of that fine. There were various licenses that we had to apply for and we also had to list every single piece of Teddy's equipment and its weight and um, how many of each item we had and its worth. So that all took quite a long time. So yeah, this trip has been quite a long time planning, but it's really good to be here and I can't wait to share the rest of the journey with you. Teddy has already had a visit from the vet, that's typical, um, because he rolled in the bedding when he arrived and it's um, it's made from recycled um, pallets apparently, wood pallets, it's like little chips off wood pallets and he had a really bad reaction and came up in hives. So. The vet has already visited the little drama queen and given him some Pyroton um, and apparently he's feeling much better now. So that is good and also typical of Ted who always likes to bring the drama but hopefully we won't be seeing the vet again. Um, not that she didn't seem lovely but um, never good to see a vet within the first hour of arriving somewhere. So we are really excited, we've got a TV um, He's actually apparently on the slot with the weather tomorrow on Irish TV, which should be quite exciting. So we're looking forward to bringing you guys with us. Teddy! Are you shocked to see me here? <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. Do you want a scratch? How are your hives? Huh? Come and see you. How do I get in? You look so shocked to see me, almost as if to say, this is my holiday, what are you doing here? Go home. I'm having fun. <laughs> oh, it's very noisy in here. We've got some nice neighbours. 
Oh, where are you going? Are you escaping? Oh, happy. Your Sorbio bedding, your little prince. Sorbio sponsor Teddy. So, um, luckily, I brought two extra bags with us because your hives are still up a bit. Still got a few little fun goodettes. Hey. Just going for a little walk. All of the horses are stunned. You're causing carnage. All the horses are spooking at you. Oh dear. <laughs> Big shake. Well, he, he'll be here, I'll be here. Yeah, no, he's only... So you'll hold the mic here. Yeah, no, hold it to me, yeah. Yeah, we're We're joined now by two of the hottest young show jumpers in town, just the Murphy Jack Good morning to you, Jeff. How are you? I've never planted there. Right, okay. Let's go. You need to take a piece and then try and divide it evenly. Okay. Divide it evenly into three. Teddy's up being quiet, by the way. He's a Okay, into three. Here we go. My girl Maddie is up here to say it was enough. She'd be too happy because I'm probably not doing good enough. But yeah, okay. so into three pieces. Here we go. I start at the right. Okay, cross over. We've got a little bit of Black Beauty music playing as well. Black and face, I love it. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Look at this. As tight as we can. Okay, keep her nice and tight. Oh, look at this. He's not like, too bad, I'm not too bad. Jack, how are we doing there? Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Jack, what age is he? Uh, he's seven. seven. Oh yeah, here we go, Gar. Can I point? Teddy's just heckling online. Get following this cute little guy. <laughs> to wave for his YouTube video. Wave all the way from down there. Can you wave? <laughs> Teddy's sniffing a bag. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he is loving that. <laughs> and look at his face. <laughs> oh, Teddy, the best day of your life. Last meet and greet, done. You're such a good boy, Ted. Do you know the way? He's our hero of the week, isn't he? And now he's in the tree. <laughs> Not the tree. Can we get a picture with Teddy? Teddy the Shetland. Well done, successful day then. There's a cheeky little nose poking out the stable. <laughs> Would you like a drink? Lee. Teddy has been such a good boy. He's just lying down for a sleep. I put him to bed. Um, obviously marked out those poos before putting him to bed properly but that's day one of Dublin Horse Show done it's been so so nice to be in a different country and such an adventure and all of the people in Ireland are absolutely lovely everyone's been so kind you can see on the right there's um, some more uh, shavings and some really really kind people in the stables next door lent them to us because they saw that Teddy had had an allergic reaction and we didn't bring loads and loads of bedding just because there wasn't room um, to pack it all. 
but um really grateful everyone's been lovely and looking forward to another four days of 